Hello guys welcome back to our channel. As the storylines in Jujutsu Kaisen progress, the depth of the universe it inhabits continues to expand, giving its audience more intricate details to mull over and decipher. Among these are the signature moves Dismantle and Cleave of the King of Curses, Ryam and Sukuna. These two attacks, while seemingly similar in purpose, have subtle distinctions in their application and effect, leading to much debate among the series' dedicated fanbase. To dissect Sukuna's signature attacks, it's important to understand the context within which they're used, their effectiveness in different situations, and how Sukuna applies them strategically. Further, investigating these moves also brings to light the nuances that make Jujutsu Kaisen a compelling narrative, rich with layers of complexity and attention to detail. The signature attacks of Ryam and Sukuna, the dreaded king of curses, Dismantle and Cleave, have long intrigued the readers of Jujutsu Kaisen. They are distinct techniques that Sukuna uses with deadly precision to dispatch his enemies. Dismantle, as its name implies, is primarily used to break down or tear apart the target. Observations made by fans and from Sukuna's fight suggest that Dismantle is primarily used against inanimate objects and cursed spirits. Further, the impact of Dismantle, as seen when Sukuna uses it to split a building in half in the latest chapter, seems to concentrate on a single area, acting almost like a controlled explosion of cursed energy. However, the application of Dismantle isn't limited to the destruction of non-living entities. When used against cursed spirits, it seems to effortlessly sever the ties that hold the spirits together, effectively dismantling them. Cleave, on the other hand, appears to be a more precision-based technique. It is primarily used against entities possessing cursed energy, like other jujitsu sorcerers. Unlike Dismantle, Cleave seems to cut cleanly through its targets, dividing whatever it comes into contact with based on the target's durability. This attack is much more strategic and appears to be used sparingly by Sukuna, perhaps to conserve his cursed energy. Both Dismantle and Cleave can also be seen as more conceptual than physical attacks. Some fans speculate that the visible sword that Sukuna pulls out during his attacks isn't an actual sword but akin to a concentration of cursed energy. This brings a new level of complexity to Sukuna's techniques, further emphasizing the level of their sophistication. Interestingly, Sukuna's control over his cursed energy and his strategic application of these techniques can be linked to his historical background and character development. Sukuna often employs fish analogies, and the cutlery-like imagery he uses for cleave and dismantle speaks volumes about his past life as a human, thus enhancing his unique character traits. His dual nature, both as a ruthless curse and a refined gentleman from a bygone era, is beautifully captured in his strategic application of these distinct techniques. Looking at Sukuna's use of these attacks throughout Jujutsu Kaisen, it becomes apparent that he doesn't fully reveal his techniques at once. Instead, he adopts a more strategic approach, utilizing his arsenal of techniques as required by the situation. He hasn't fully used cleave or dismantle in their totality against Gojo, indicating he might have more attacks up his sleeve. The King of Curse's intriguing curse techniques are a testament to the depth and detail that the mangaka, Gijakotami, has put into his work. Every technique, character interaction, and choice in Jujutsu Kaisen carry significant weight and deeper meaning. Sukuna's Dismantle and Cleave are perfect examples of the series' intricate storytelling, igniting ongoing discussion and speculation among its fanbase. In conclusion, the distinction between Sukuna's Dismantle and Cleave speaks to the layered complexity of Jujutsu Kaisen. As the series progresses, fans can look forward to witnessing more of Sukuna's strategic brilliance and potentially new techniques, further enriching the multifaceted world of Jujutsu Kaisen. That's it on the video and video and comment on which is your favorite anime and character goodbye and see you on the next video.